Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 16th. The year is 2022. I don't know if you all have seen this video of a young lady named Shanquilla Robertson who was found dead in Cabo, Mexico. She went to Cabo, Mexico. She's only 25 years of age. She went down there for her birthday trip with five other people. So out of the six of them, they rented a Airbnb, a vacation villa in Cabo. <clears throat> there is a video circulating of her being beat and she's butt naked and she's not fighting. She's just one of her associates there is beating her, uh, fighting. And so when, these, when she died, the um, autopsy report is stating that she had a broken neck and a broke spine. Her friend said she died from alcohol poisoning, but they weren't expecting this video to get out of her being beat up by this other chick, brother black. These y'all, I saw that video of this young lady. She's butt naked. Somebody's recording her with their cell phone, like ignorant folks do. They're beating, she's fighting, she's not fighting back, this, this, this other young lady's fighting her. Y'all, you know, this is one of the reasons why I'm very selective about the people I want around me. You cannot call everyone your friend or even associate. There is no way in hell I would have flew out of this country with those people if I had any thought that there was any type of conflict going on between me and them. What in the world could they have been fighting about in Cabo, Mexico, the first day they got there? They just got there, and then this fight took place. Or the next, it's either Friday, it's one of those days. That they're in a private villa that they rented. She gets beat up so bad that she suffers a broken neck and a broken spine by her friends that supposedly her friends or whoever these other people are. And they recorded this and nobody tried to intervene and break up the fight. Nobody tried to do nothing. So there are multiple videos. I've seen one or two of them. And I just stopped watching them because I, that, it pissed me off so bad. You know, when I mean, you see black folks down in Mexico acting a damn fool and one of them end up dead it's sad and you have to wonder what is going on in their heads that they have to go there and fight hold on look you have to wonder what is going on damn on. in their heads why do they need to be fighting while they're in Mexico they killed that girl Y'all, I used to not like the comment that Maya Angelou said. When somebody shows you who you, they really are, believe them the first time. And I would give people second, first, second, third chances, fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth chances, knowing they had stabbed me in my back, knowing they had this done deceitful stuff to me, knowing I'd say, well, I'll give them another chance. Don't do that, y'all. I'm telling you now. Don't give them people another opportunity to kill you. I took a road trip, and I don't, I've never really discussed this. It was over about 13 years old, about 2010. Went on a road trip with some friends, and one of the girls that was with us, I don't know why she did this, but she started putting the drugs in my coffee. So the hotel we were at stayed coffee, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. <laughs> She started spending, um, hey, come here. She started bringing me coffee every morning and drinks. Little did I know she was spiking the stuff. Where her intentions were, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. But I knew that's what she, I found out later what she was doing. And these are people I had known for over 20 years. Over 20 years. But there were signs I should have never ever been on a road trip with those people. The signs were all around me. And I had read those signs for years. So going into my 40th birthday, which is when this happened, I was, I was turning 40 that year. Uh, this was probably a few weeks before I turned 40. 
Come here, Ginger. So right before I turned 40, these dogs are getting on my damn nerves. Right before I turned 40, years of age, I went on this road trip. And it was disastrous. It was really bad. It was bad. And hold on a second, because she's not going to stop. Hold on. I'll be right back. As I was saying, I was on a road trip when one of the one of my associates, or what I was calling a friend back then, was bringing me drinks and spiking them with something, some type of drug. I guess she was trying to get me to chill out, or I don't know. <laughs> I, you know I, I try not to think about this situation, but it, it really altered my perception about people that you think you know. I don't do drugs. And I certainly don't appreciate somebody putting, spiking my drinks to get me to calm down or chill out. What, what this, it could have killed me. So I don't travel with nobody no more. I'm serious, y'all. Not like that. But anyway, this young woman was in Cabo, Mexico with six other, five other people. They down there on vacation. And you can, you can Google the story. Her name is Shaquilla Robinson. I was going to post some of the news articles and the videos. There's so much information out there. Y'all can just put it up. They Google Shaquilla Robinson and read the stories on your own. But that video, of those videos circulating of her fighting those other people, Naked? While on vacation? Your birthday vacation? I don't get that. What was the purpose in that? Why? And this is what y'all wonder what's going on in the background. Yeah, I'm mornings over here. I trip. These fucking months. They're on vacation, trying to have fun. And this crazy jealousy, envy, hate, what is it? Can you, and y'all, I don't like, I, I hate to say this, but I, I hold on, we're gonna keep this noise up. But jealousy, envy, and hate. Jealousy, envy, hate. Jealousy, envy, hate. That's why I stay away from a lot of people, y'all. I stay as far away as I can from people. They can't even go on vacation without acting a damn fool. They recorded this fight. This massive fight, they recorded it. She's naked, and then they released these videos to other people. And now these videos are all over the internet. This is where her parents are gonna have to figure out and see these videos. This woman being be in fault. And they said she died from alcohol poisoning. That's what her friend said. Then they all fled for Mexico. I hope that the authorities in Mexico come get their asses and charge them for this girl's death. I can not stand ignorant, jealous, envious, hating people. And I don't want them around me. So goes back to what I said about Maya Angelou and her statement. When people show you who they really are the first time, you better fucking believe them and leave them the first, leave them alone the first time you have incident with them. I don't care what it is. Just leave them alone. If you want to live a normal life, leave them alone. Don't have nothing to do with these folks. And I hate to say this about our people, but black folks, we got some serious ass mental health issues between jealousy, envy, and hate of somebody. That girl was beautiful. But she didn't even realize she was traveling with a bunch of demons. I've learned from that road trip. I'm not taking them road trips with no crazy people. Not no group of people. That's the craziest shit. There are all types of stuff people invite me to. We going to this cabin. We going here. We going there. We doing this. I said, oh, no, thank you. I don't know any of y'all. And we, I've had a few issues with a few of y'all too. I'm not getting in no cargo or just no cabin in the woods. I'm not that stupid. They lured this girl to Mexico, to Cabo. Because this incident happened the very first, within 24 hours of them getting there. They fighting. Over what? 
some nigga. What could they be fighting over? You on vacation. I'm not going nowhere with a bunch of ignorant people. Mm -mm. I'm not going nowhere. I can't do it. I've learned my lesson. I'm lucky to be alive after that incident where that girl put that shit in my damn drinks. And you just sit back and say, well, who would do something so vicious? Hmm, ignorant ass niggas. Welcome to Niggerville, y'all. They don't give a fuck. They down in Mexico. A whole nother country. Physically attacking somebody. And recording it like it's some type of, I guess, what, what were they recording for? The internet or something? The girl's butt ass naked and nobody has any respect that she's naked. And I've seen these videos and I looked at the videos and said, this is some ignorant shit here. And she wasn't fighting back because they said she was drunk. I had been drinking. Did they drug her also? Y'all. I have been through some horrible things with people who call themselves friends. That's why I don't want them niggas around me. Mm -mm. I don't want them around me. I don't want them in my house. I don't want them in my car. I don't want to go places with them. And I damn sure ain't going out in town with the big motherfuckers. Why? She getting up in a body bag? I've heard so many story, horror stories of people traveling with a group of friends and they end up dead. Right here in Atlanta, a guy came here from Memphis, Tennessee with a group of friends. They all at a pool party. How he ended up drowning in the pool? Where was his friends at? Nobody saw this man drowning in that pool. Then after, the, when they found the body, called the ambulance, got him out the pool and everything. You know what his friends did? They went to the next party. How can you go to another party after your friend, somebody associated you all came to take the ladder with, died at a pool party? They went to the next party. Those aren't friends. So, and it's very hard to have friends and associates in the black communities. These motherfuckers are so hateful. It's demonic. Jealousy. Envy. Hate. And you just, you could just be standing somewhere smiling and happy. And then they over there hating you for nothing. It's been like, I've, ever since I moved to Atlanta in 1989, I've encountered so many people who don't know me, who hate me. And I'm like, well, wait, why don't you, <laughs> long before the internet even existed. You smile too much, you're too happy. And I will admit over the years, because of the treatment I received from so many black gay guys, I grew to hate these guys and don't trust them. Because I've done nothing to them. But live a normal, happy life. And I don't trust these niggas. And I don't want them around me. I learned my lesson the hard way. My mother used to see me with this old entourage of people. She said, who are all these people? And she warned me. She said, they're not your friends, Walter. They just, you need to really watch your company. When I was in my, I was young. This girl was 25 years of age. 25 years of age. She was young. And probably had no clue what these hateful women were planning against her to get there. And you all better believe they probably was plot, plot and planning this. I'm going to get up with you to Mexico. Because that, that's the biggest do. Just, just keep it real. They don't let shit go. Okay, now we got a, a toy. Come over, Grayson. Now they got a toy. I mean, can we have some pizza around here so I can do this damn video? Am I going to have to take them to the neighbor's house and set them over there? Come here, Grayson. Come here. Am I going to have to sit them somewhere? I mean, it's ridiculous. I started doing these videos. These mutts go crazy. It was so quiet here. I was just sitting here drinking my coffee prior to doing this video. And then when I started doing this video, here they go. Out. They just go berserk. Niggas go berserk. Why? <sighs> Man, anyway, back to the story about this crazy girl, these 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 individuals. Her name is Shaquilla Robinson. Hey, come here, Grayson. Her name is Shaquilla Robinson. Give me that toy. Shaquilla Robinson. You can Google it and see her name. Grayson! Mm -mm. Anyway, 
Google her name. You can see who she is. You can see a lot of her videos. Hold on a second. This is ridiculous. Give me that toy. Give me Grayson. Come here. Come here, Ginger. Oh, come Ginger. Oh, Ginger, you ain't creating the video yet. Come on over here. Come on over here. You're right when you ran over here. Get your ass on over here. Here you go. She's back alive and running around like a maniac this morning, scratching at the door. How old he in? How old he in? Oh. Why? Why do you think get my coffee? Get out. Should Quila Robinson look her up and see what happened to her? Y'all, just keep this. Please be careful who you deal with. Because this is happening so often in the black community, it's, 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 it's sad. Just like a few years ago, this, in fact, two or three years ago, this young lady was killed here in Atlanta by her best friend and her boyfriend. I see these stories all the time about these people they say are their friends and they end up dead and by people who are supposed to be your friends and associates. Like, okay, well, I'm confused. They were friends and associates. What, how, what, how does this happen? How does this happen? If you're my friend, why are you trying to kill me? Why did you kill me? Why are you attempting to kill me? Mm -mm. These deadly niggas better stay away from me, you know, like I know. And I do know. Keep them people out your inner circle. Keep them out your home. Don't let them in your business. Don't let them know you're going on vacation. Damn sure don't go on vacation with their motherfucking asses. Leave their asses here in Atlanta. Don't tell their asses shit. When I travel, I tell people where I'm at. And all this social media, we hear that, we doing this and we doing that. No. Do that when you get back from vacation. They don't need to know where you at. These are some hateful, jealous. I've had so I've had so many friends who've flown down to Miami and get arrested. It's crazy. And I said, "What? You know, y'all was on vacation. What happened? Well, they was drunk and fighting." I said, "Y'all fighting each other in Miami? Don't y'all know them, them folks don't play down there? They will lock you up, and they get locked up in Miami. You drunk fighting your friends and associates? What is this?" I thought, you know, that's not what friends should be doing to each other is fighting each other. It's some damn in Miami. That should be the only, only, only in Miami. Why? Niggas. Deadly niggas. Well, look up the story of Shaquille Robinson. They said, her friend said she died from alcohol poison, but it's clear that once they got the autopsy report, it, once they got that report, once they got that report, get your ass over here. Come here. Come here. Once they, come here, Grayson. Lord, they just now they even found one of the noisiest toys. They normally have never played with the toy. Now they even found it. Come here, Grayson. Come here. Come here. You want to interrupt this video? I'm going to have to put them someplace far, far away. This is not even ridiculous. Grayson, come here. Why are you so hard headed? Here. Get your ass from over there. I need a shooter throw in his ass. I bet you run in. That's what I need. You give me a little shoe around this damn house. I'm going to taser the things that tase their ass. When they start acting up, just tase them. They go sit their ass down somewhere. Now you're going to pick up another thing. It's just one noise after another. I apologize, y'all. I got to find something to do with them. Uh, I'm in this. I like to do the videos out here where the sun is at this, but they ain't got that. And they banned from everywhere else in the house. Uh, I'm going to find some way to stick their asses. Ridiculous. There they go. There they go. There they go. Every morning, all day. At last night, they were making so much noise in this damn house. I, I chased their asses down and put them in them damn cages. They were mad as hell. I was so over their asses last night. I'm trying to watch TV. They were running around in the damn house. I said, when do y'all ever sit down and shut the fuck up? So I got them and put them in that damn cage. And these racket noise, these, I don't get these toys, girl, when I'm about to make all this fucking noise over here. It's ridiculous. Anyway, stay away from these deadly niggas on vacation. Don't do it. Don't travel with these people when they show you who they really are. When they show you what's going on in their mind and heart told you, you better believe that and leave them niggas alone. Anyway, today is Wednesday, November 16th, the year is 2022. I got another video I want to talk about too about Atlanta. Because I got some more folks who want to move here. And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna be able to know what's the good things about that. I'm gonna try to come up with some good shit. But first, I'm gonna tuck these dogs damn way somewhere in this fucking house. I think I, I, think I know where I'm gonna put them at.